Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Pamela. Go ahead, like this video, comment under it, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new uploads. Hey, tell by the title of this video we are doing a Q&A I have all the questions that people ask that you all ask me on Instagram go ahead and follow me on everything by grace underscore it'll be under here <laughs> go ahead and follow me on Instagram and while you're at it you can go ahead and follow my business page at gloss by grace so now that we are here let's go ahead jump right into it I got my red lip going on it's giving grown and sexy vibes um, because Valentine's Day, which is my favorite holiday besides my birthday, is coming up. So I'm super excited about that. Anywho, let's get into it. So number one was just college advice. Now, I don't really know what you mean by college advice. Um, but as you know, and if you don't know, um, sidebar, before you watch this video, go watch my first get to know me tag video. I'll either link it below or you can find it really, really easily on my channel. Um, go ahead and watch that because I probably won't be answering questions here that I already answered there. So go ahead and do that. But college advice, uh, well, I'll give you, I guess, like my top three things, um, be focused. Um, some people go into college not focused on what's important. What's important is you leaving with a degree. That's step one. Let's start there. And again, everyone doesn't finish college, but if it's your desire to finish college or if you're going to a field where you need a degree, make sure that your focus is getting your degree, not your friends, not anything else, not anybody else. I know it's especially hard if you're not away at school, but, um, sorry, I don't know what my hair is doing. Um, but you wanna make sure that you just stay focused because it's a lot of distractions, a lot of other things you can do, and they're not necessarily bad, but make sure you remember that your focus is school. The organizations are gonna try to pull, organizations meaning like clubs and stuff at school, they're gonna try to pull your attention, but it's your job to stay focused and remember what your priority is. Everything, everything else can fall off of your plate, but that schoolwork though, cannot, okay? So that's number one. I would say two is, um, what's number two? I would say two would be to stick to your guns but have fun. So it kind of contradicts the last point of staying focused. But I honestly wish I had more fun in college. I was so focused. And again, I left my, with my degree. I graduated with great grades, thank God. But I could have had some more fun in college. So I would just say sometimes you're going to have to stretch yourself. Like maybe, you know, forfeiting one thing to do schoolwork. But you know, just make sure you get a holistic experience. So if you're focused on school, that's great. But also remember to have fun because you ain't never gonna be in college again. And after college, the real world starts. So just make sure to have fun too. So first one will be to focus. Step two, I guess, would be more of like to have a balance. Um, you don't wanna leave college with any regrets. So I would definitely say that. You don't wanna wait till senior year to do all the things because you don't wanna have regrets. So, you know, I would keep that in mind. It's all about balance. If you start having fun, freshman year but balancing it with schoolwork by the time you graduate you feel like you did enough you know and I wish I did that so there's that and I think number three would be listen to yourself um the bible talks about um there is a safety in the midst of counsel which basically means like you're better off if you have like people that you can talk to like you know to give you advice and stuff like that and which is true but also listen to yourself like I wish a lot of my decisions, especially with the career I chose to take right out of college, which was finance, um, it was basically I was going to the like council of people or like the people's like three a collection of three or four people that you know at the time and even now um, that I go to for advice when I was trying to figure out what job I should do. It was literally more of like, okay, so what does everybody think I should do? And I'll just go based off of what y'all are saying, as opposed to no Pamela, sit down somewhere. What do you want to do? What do you enjoy? The, pay attention to the classes in college that are e that come easy to you that you like doing not just because you like the professor but when you're studying it makes sense to you and like you enjoy the material or whatever the case is that is a sign that that is probably something you should do when you graduate if you really are struggling with something to an extent to where you don't like it or something like that I don't recommend getting a career in that field which is kind of why I do um and I'm not working in that field anymore so here we are. I could have saved myself a lot of time if I just listened to myself. 
Um, so that's something I wish I knew too. Um, besides that, have fun and you don't need to neglect God to have fun in college. The Bible actually, I don't know if it's a command, but it lets us know the, that the Lord wants us to have fun while we're here on earth. We're not just going to like work and die. Um, so make sure you have fun. Like have fun that you don't have to repent for in the morning. All right. <laughs> um, what are your goals for the new year? Child, at this point. I don't know what my I don't it's it's easier to say what I don't want than what I do want because I really want a lot this year I'm coming for everything that I felt like I lacked in 2020 of course because you know everything that happened I lost my grandmother you know COVID I moved back um home to Brooklyn from Chicago I moved back in with my parents it was a lot right so I'm really just coming for everything that I lost in 2020 and then some um and above all of that I want to make sure that I'm in the world because I want what he wants for me. Um, it would be nice to, I think one of my goals last year was to go on dates, which I did, <laughs> and it was fun. Um, but I think this year is to be more intentional with dating and not just going on a date to go on a date. And again, I'm not the type to go on a date just for free food because one thing about me, I'm about myself food regardless, okay? But you know, just more of like to go and have a good time. But I can have a good time in, in, in many other ways. Like, I feel like I want to be more intentional with dating. Because, you know, I'm not getting any younger. And the reality is, is that, you know, I would like that companionship. So, you know, being more intentional with dating and, you know, not just going out with people for kicks and giggles or because it might be, like, a good time. But, like, because I see something that could be potential for the future, right? So, I definitely want to be more intentional about dating. Um, coming for everything that I lost or everything that I lost and then some 2020 I already said that um I want to grow my hair out a bit I'm not I might not hair naturally never gets long but I want to grow it out enough to like get like some like faux locks or something because I'm kind of like feeling to do that look again on my or something um definitely traveling more than I did this year the last couple years thank god you know I'm thankful to have been like well traveled from the job I was working we traveled for work not not like often often but like every quarter like every couple two three months we would travel um so i want to get back into traveling that often but like for, for leisure like for things that i want to do um visiting my brother and sister they lived in la and houston you know going on trips with my girls you know all the good stuff um what is the craziest thing on your bucket list uh so i love love and hip-hop i haven't really watched the last season or or two of like new york and, and uh, Atlanta um but I've been watching Love and Hip Hop since it first came out when I was in junior high school I am 23 junior high school was a long over 10 years ago <laughs> um so I want to go to Love and Hip Hop reunion especially because I followed the show for so long like I really want to go to a Love and Hip Hop reunion that's definitely on my bucket list I want to see the action live I still do like whatever uh, reunion I would go to I would still watch the whole season before that so I you know I'd be prepared for the tea but I definitely want to go to a love and hip hop oh best date story honestly I've gone on some really good dates thank god um best date story sorry y'all I'm thirsty out of nowhere <laughs> all right we're good now we're back um best date story I really have a couple of great there was one where, well, clearly I'm single, so I didn't, you know, it didn't work out with any of the people. But there, a lot of them I still keep in contact with. They're like, we'll see each other on social media. Like, if I see them post up with a new boo, I'll be like, you know, congrats, I'm happy for you. Like, ain't no reason to be salty over here, okay? Um, but besides the point, uh, one of them, it was a picnic in the park, and my favorite uh, Haitian food, which y'all saw on my birthday vlog, is um, fuita. It's like a assorted plate of like food. And if you want to see how that looks, go to my birthday vlog. I got some, my mom brought me some fuita for my birthday. Um, but yeah, I love fuita. So, and this guy wasn't even Haitian, he hung around Haitian people, he wasn't even Haitian. He went out of his way to get fuita, and he got like enough to feed a family. I don't know who he thought was gonna eat that. I mean, that's me but excuse me i don't know who he thought was gonna eat that um so i mean not in a bad way but he got so much but the fact that you know he went out of his way and i think i don't even think he went to a restaurant he had someone make it it was good um 
So I really appreciated that. He was a super, super thoughtful dude. So shout out to you. You know, you are my ace gold queen now. Like literally, that's my homie now. Um, and then the other one, it was I've honestly gone on a couple of these uh, dates, but this one, this was a person that I was kind of taking, not kind of, I was taking seriously for a little while, and we had like gone, we always had gone on like spontaneous dates, like on some, I want to see you, you want to see me, I, I'm outside, let's go, kind of thing, which is fun. Don't get me wrong. Um, but this is one of the ones where you know it was like, all right, we're gonna go out on this date and do this and dress up and all the things. So first of all, I showed up in heels. It was not a heels type of place. So let's start there. Thank God I had flip flops. <laughs> Um, but it was really fun. He took me to a black owned restaurant in the summer and like they had outdoor dining that was like so picturesque. Like it wasn't like on a sidewalk. It was like in the back of the restaurant, but it was outdoors. They had this like beautiful like, canopy and lighting. It was just beautiful. And it was a black owned place because he knows I like blackity black black stuff. And I'm sure y'all can tell right now that I like blackity black black stuff, right? So he took me to that black owned place and we, you know, we were both, uh, nervous i don't know why i think i was more nervous oh so when we walked in we both took shots which was fun um and then he took me to an ice cream place that he had that had rum raisin specifically because rum raisin is my favorite kind of ice cream um which is super thoughtful and then after that we were gonna go he was gonna drop me off at my girl sasha you already know who that is period my good sis sasha's house um to meet up with her and my other sis danny um but before that they called me and they're like hey like can you bring some snacks like on your way here so i was like you know do you mind pulling up to the corner store i was gonna go in and get them snacks of course i'm gonna date with you like it's not your responsibility to like, feed my friends so i was gonna go and like get them snacks he went and got them snacks and like got them like the big packs not even like, the little single servers like i think there's like cookies or something that they wanted or oreos he got the big pack of of, of oreos and whatnot so that was really really sweet that was definitely like i think that would be something i'm gonna tell my kids it was a really nice day um but it's 2021 there are more great date stories to come so look out for that what do you do to unwind Hmm, that's a good question. To unwind, y'all already saw that in my self-care staycation vlog, but um, I love a good bath because I'm home. I don't like, I don't take baths and like share bathtubs and it's a little weird. Uh, that's why I don't do it here. But you know, taking a bath, lighting a candle, I have a candle lit right now. <laughs> taking a bath, lighting a candle, um, shopping recently, like this year, like the last couple of months i've really just enjoyed shopping and like it's not like i'm going to like the product store and buying up everything i'm not there yet um but just like you know going into primark and getting little things that i like and like going to the pharmacy getting like little snacks for myself um i really enjoy things like that um what else food um getting myself food getting myself ice cream taking myself out taking myself out to eat which is one of my favorite things to do shout out to the room for stopping that during the winter in new york um yeah i would say those are the kind of things i do for self-care honestly doing this talking to y'all recording vlogs i really enjoy it um so i guess it's part of my self-care too that's a good question um skincare i need to do better with my skincare because my skin has been not looking good but anyway what is your favorite quarantine activity um but one of my favorite things is honestly getting out of the house um like during like the middle of quarantine when nothing was open i would literally just go to the grocery store i would get like little snacks and stuff from the grocery store but i would literally just like go to just be outside and walk around and i've actually i love grocery shopping um it's not as convenient to do in new york like unless you have a car or you know it's open but when i was in chicago i would like grocery shop for hours and i really enjoy um grocery shopping so i would do grocery shopping for my mom especially if she was like working or something i would go grocery shopping for her um i just really enjoy grocery shopping or like taking walks grocery shopping taking walks there's this really nice neighborhood that i'm not too far from that has like beautiful big houses so i would like troop over there and like walk around um really enjoyed that especially like when it was nice and warm outside um well, I would say, well, going out to eat with outdoor seating when the weather is nice, love doing that. 
going on yeah going on walks going to the park and swinging on the swings swinging on the swings is so therapeutic for me and if y'all haven't gathered by now i'm a big kid so honestly when i get my my home my house i'm gonna have a place set in the backyard before i have kids because it's gonna be for me that's the real tea and i would really be the one to get a mansion have like a gay room with like a bouncy house in it because i love bouncy houses i love swings so going to the park and swing on the swings and looking crazy swinging next to kids but i didn't care and i don't care <laughs> if your life was a movie what would the title be hmm. i would say a beautiful mess uh yeah a beautiful one jesus okay i would say a beautiful mess uh i think there's been a lot of beauty found in my life but it's also a little bit of a hot mess at times so i would say a beautiful mess and I would be able to like set apart in there because I kind of gathered that like it's not like everything else and it's not always fun but I've just learned to accept it but yeah I would say a beautiful mess what do you love most about being a woman well I'm gonna tell you what I don't like periods I'm not a fan I'm thankful to get them because again everyone can't get a period and I'm very thankful for that but if I could just opt out of that I, I would periods, contractions, labor pains, we all could happen. I just, I want no parts, but it is what it is. Um, that's what I hate most. But what I love most, um, I'm just, I'm a girly girl, so I really like most things about being a woman because I'm just a girly girl. Um, I'm not high maintenance, but I just love all things girly. Um, I would say it's like that feminine, just like being feminine, like having that like feminine energy, like it's something about like, uh, how do I say, like those feminine wiles with that men just can't get enough of. Not in a way of like being a whore or anything like that, but it's just something about like being a woman that like, um, I don't know what it is, that like we just do something to men simply because we're women and we just have that like feminine energy, not just to men, but to the world because we're just, we're, I don't know, it's just something about being a woman just because simply because i'm a woman and me being the kind of woman i am specifically like i'm assertive all these kinds of things being that kind of woman you just have a certain impact on people that i can't describe but i like it so i would say like just that femininity that feminine energy whatever it is i really like that okay um what is your favorite genre of music? I don't know if I have a favorite, like I have a bunch of playlists on my uh, phone and it really just depends on my mood. So sometimes I like Haitian music, which is called compa. Sometimes I'm in the mood for gospel music. Sometimes I'm in the mood for gospel choir music, like Hezekiah Walker, John B. Key, Kirk Franklin kind of thing. Well, not really so much Kirk Franklin, but y'all get the point. Sometimes I'm in, the, I'm in the mood for just Kirk Franklin. Sometimes I just want 90s r and &B. I don't really know if I have a favorite. I would say overall, any genre for the most part that was made from like 1985 to like 2005, it's 99% that I'm gonna like it, whether it's gospel, R&B, hip hop, like the Tupac, Biggie kind of era, that's all, anything. Um, why, why are you single? <laughs> that honestly is a good question. That's like a, sounds like a first date question almost. Um, I just haven't found the right one yet um i was purposely single for four years oh yeah four years when i was in college because I, I just couldn't be bothered honestly i was just focused i was so focused on school i was just like what am i about to do with somebody's son nothing because i got i got schoolwork like i i got something to do i got this degree to catch and that's just gonna be it i don't think there's anything wrong with that and honestly i'm glad i took that time for like personal development and growth and then after that i did it a little team a little bit before I moved to Chicago, like two months after I graduated, two, three months after I graduated. But then it was basically another year of just, almost a year of just me. Um, and again, a lot of personal growth and development happened. So I'm glad that I went through those seasons. And I think I'm just single because I haven't found the right one yet. And when it is time for me to not be single, I'm sure I will tell you about it. When it's real, I ain't gonna tell y'all about everything now, but I'm sure I'll tell y'all about it in some capacity. <laughs> when um, my relationship status changes. I think that's almost it. Oh, what are the three most powerful words that have changed your life? I would say, um, breathe. I find that God often has to tell me to just breathe because I tend to be anxious about things, especially, you know, with everything that's happened in the last year. So 
uh, the Lord just has to tell me to breathe. Like, I just literally hear the Holy Spirit like, no, just breathe. When I think about certain things or like if I start to get anxious about something that really is not that deep, especially, I'll just hear breathe. So I would say breathe. Um, try. There's a song by Jonathan McReynolds named Try. And um, it really like, it came out like three years ago. It came out, I think maybe was like a junior or sophomore in college. And I don't, and I just, it just really, and I'm typically a person that's like scared of doing anything or trying anything new. But that song just really just had me like, you know what? I just have to try. And ever since then, I've just been trying. Like I started businesses, I've closed businesses. I've just tried overall. Um, so try, cause I think you just have to, sometimes you just have to try. Um, and I think if you have that word in you, just to try, it'll just help you, you know? Um, trying with the Lord's direction, of course, but just trying, like, just try. Um, so what is, what do I have to? That was two. Um, what did I say? Breathe, try, and... Breathe, try, and... Maybe the third would be love. Like, maybe the maybe it would be love. I don't know. Maybe it would be love. Breathe, try. Why would it be love though? Why would my third word to three most powerful words have changed your life? I don't know if the word love changed my life. Love, you know, of course impacts our lives, but I don't know. I don't know if it was love though. Um, breathe, try, and. just say breathe try and speak that's what i would say breathe try and speak you have to speak up for yourself i'm still learning to advocate for myself in every area um you have to speak up i'm learning the importance of communication in all relationships so i would just say speak because a lot of things can be avoided by a conversation a lot of things are just a misunderstanding but if you spoke that's how you clear up a misunderstanding or how do you even how you even prevent a misunderstanding so I would definitely say breathe, try, and speak. Breathe, try, <laughs> breathe, try, and speak. Those would be my three words. Um, I think we answered all of it. Yes. So I hope this wasn't too long-winded. This was a get to know me tag. I kind of was going to originally make this like Valentine's Day theme because that is my favorite holiday after my birthday and Christmas is right after Valentine's Day in my like hierarchy <laughs> um but y'all are gonna get a Valentine's Day vlog so or two or maybe even three because I really love Valentine's Day I'm very extra I've already started looking for stuff for Valentine's Day to give people so here's that but yes I hope you all enjoyed this Q&A stay tuned for when my next video or vlog upload go ahead and like comment subscribe if you enjoyed this video go off and send the link to this video to your family to your friends you know whoever um and if you're wondering i got this where's my quest from forever 21 this is it's not adjustable so it's literally just this length i got these earrings from primark they came in a set this bracelet i can't even remember where i got the bracelet from of course my lipstick got all my hands as a finishing video and I got this really cute and comfy sweatshirt that's kind of wrinkled, sorry y'all. Um, this really cute and comfy shirt from Forever 21. Y'all, go, go ahead and, and get shopping if you're able to, because baby, these winter sales, top tier. Anywho, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.